Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux, bienvenido, croissui, welcome, assalamu alaikum, konnichiwa, g'day mate, and watcha. So I'm back today with a video, again, this is kind of like a continuation, ongoing process with this Hoover Junior 1334. Now this is one that I restored a couple of weeks ago with the respraying and the interior and mo my first motor strip down and everything so I'm back with it because it didn't have an original bag it didn't have the original bumper there was damage to the foot pedal the release pedal here and also this little clip here as well had perished and was coming away and I didn't have a pink cord now in that video I said I was going to order a pink cord um, to be honest it's the most retro one I could find so it's pink in color it's two core and it's actually like a braided on the outside which is pink and gray which to be honest it kind of matches the pink it's a bit lighter but it would have been the next best thing 10 meters of it to have a pink cable on it now I hadn't put it on yet, which is quite a good thing. And in the meantime, I'd picked up a constellation from um, from Andy. It's one of the six that I picked up from um, from Andy. And I have another pink one as well that I bought a number of weeks before that. So I had two pink and white constellations. One of them, the first one that I bought, had an original cable to it, but it's going to need stripping and respraying. The one I bought from Andy is in excellent condition. That is literally only going to need um, some cutting polish on it and a little bit of repair of the underneath where they always rust where they've been on the floor. But the actual, the rest of it is absolutely fine. So that's not going to um, be a major overhaul. So the other constellation that I have, the pink and white one, I'm going to strip back the metal. I'm going to repaint it, but I'm going to... Um, pimp it shall we say and sort of like make it a two-tone mother of pearl white top with a kind of like mm, like you get on the cars but sort of like with a pink two-tone funky I'm gonna do something funky with it anyway and I'm going to use this pink cord on that one because I'm not going to be fussed about it because it's going to be changed so much on the outside from its original state then using this cord will be absolutely fine. So I'm going to save the cord for that constellation. So I'm going to pop that over there. This is my donor 1334, junior 1334. Uh, from the pictures on the description from eBay, the bag seemed like, it's an original Hoover bag, but it seemed like an original bag, but... I think they kind of added some filters onto the photograph to make it look a lot more pinker than what it is. And I have a feeling it's going to be brown. But it does have all the pink accessories on it so I can add to this. And that old Connie that I'm going to be um, pimping, I'm going to take off the pink cord, which is an original pink cord, and I'm going to put it on this. So it'll have a new cord, the new bumper, and hopefully some of the other accessories but the bag I think it's gonna have to wait for another um, donor so if I can even find a pink bag to make this completely original so without further ado let's open the donor machine so this is a bit of a mishmash video today because this is going to be the last video I'm going to be doing this week before I go away to America girl I can't wait I have just been on the phone call to a again another phone call to a vacuum store that is going to let me try some of the American vacuums which I'm so excited about the simplicities the filter queens and all the other vacuums you can think of I'm gonna be able to go into his independent store and have a go with them so I'm gonna get some photos and possibly a video who knows I'll try so Let's undo the box. We've got now the tube is badly, badly, badly scratched. It's a bare metal on that side. It looks like someone's probably had a go at it with a pink handle, but it's in good condition. There's no rust. This is the lower part again, very badly scratched. 
in here we have oh my gosh what vacuum is this from it's brown it seems like an original hoover bag but it's um it's kind of like a brownie brown color to it it's not in very good condition it's a bit manky The zip seems to be fine. There is a bag attached to it. Yeah, there's a there's an original bag attached to it that has not been used. It's it's brand new. But it's not actually attached. But it does have the metal clip on it. It's all clean. It's a bit dusty, but it is seems pretty clean. So I'll keep that and possibly use it for another one. What else have we got? We've got another original genuine component bag for Senior Ranger, Senior Sprite, Hoover Junior, Hoover Junior, and another Hoover Junior. So the types of different Hoover Juniors. A cash converter carrier bag. Always handy for picking up dog shit. Uh, here I have... Oh, a bit of cardboard. Here I have a bag. <laughs> the newspaper. Excellent poopy bag. Some more paper. And the machine itself. Let me get rid of this box. Ooh, I can see pink things. Now, I know that this doesn't have an original cord. And it does need some work, but the parts on it that I need are in very good condition which is fantastic fantastic now if i take a look at the underneath it's very clean very very clean this has definitely been restored to some point yep it's even got a belt attached to it Now this one is a, this one is plastic and this one is metal. I quite like the metal one on it to be honest compared to the plastic, but it's going to need some work doing to it. What I'll do, I'll try and restore this and paint it and um, I'll use this metal one on here instead. Right, so before I go any further, I'm going to switch this on and test it. This also is in better condition. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's fine. No, it's in good condition as well. Let's uh, switch it on. Let's take that. <coughs> I don't know if this is on or off. Try it. Wow, it's really good. That is really good. Really, really good. It sounds good. The motor winds down fine. The brush roll. This definitely, because I only need the extremity parts on it. I will use this possibly for a future video where I will put this back together and paint it to match the constellation um, and then and have a sort of like matching um, pimped pair 
of the constellation and this junior. That's something I could possibly do for the future. So the first thing I need to do is take off the bumper because I need the bumper for this one. I'll give that a bit of a clean, but it's in very good condition. Slight wear on the edges, but it's expected. At least it's the pink one. The other thing I'm going to need to take off is this foot pedal. going to put it on so I'm going to take this one off put the better one on put this back on here to cut the cord off this make sure it's unplugged but I'm not going to use this plug but I am going to need where's it gone this little part because the other one on that one's broken that can come off and go in my spares it's a nice MK plug which I will use actually, possibly on, on the um, pink cable. So there we go. That's what I need for this. Because this one has completely perished. So I'm going to pop it on. And I'm going to fit it on immediately. gonna leave it I'm not gonna tighten this up because I'm gonna have to dismantle this anyway to um, to put the pink cord on but I just wanted to put it on excellent so that looks better already uh, I'm gonna take the white bumper off this I'm gonna give this a wipe over Where's my bucket, dear Is there my bucket? Hang on, I need a cloth. Actually, I've got a wet one here. So I'm just going to give this a clean over quickly. this lovely nice pink bumper on it and there we go that looks amazing. <laughs> that looks really, really good with the pink bumper. It really finishes it off. It really needed it. So the only thing I'm going to do now for the finishing touch, the piece de resistance, is going to be the cable. So I'm going to take this temporary Kirby one off it. And I need to get the Constellation cable, which is going to be easier said than done. So I think I'm going to put you on pause 
and move you closer. So this is the pink cable from the battered Connie, but it's a bit manky, so we need to give it a clean up. This constellation has not been cleaned in years, believe me, and is in desperate need of cleaning. So what I'm going to do to get this cable uh, clean again, I'm going to take it to the sink and I'm going to have to use some sort of like detergent and a little scouring pad. So I'll go and do that and uh, come back and then we can fix the new cable to this. Okay, so there we go. That is now a clean pink cord, which actually looks pink again rather than brown. So that looks good. So what I need to do with this is to disconnect this wire. So to make it easier, because because just to make it easier, I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to pull this wire through. Now I've got the replacement pink wire. Doing. Pop it through here. And it'll go through. Come on. Okay. I'm just going to pull through enough. This oh no, I can put that on after, it doesn't matter. So I have to do a little bit of dismantling on this. So I can put a new cord on. So let me move you guys closer. There we go. <coughs> Take these screws out. Now this grommety thing is broken, but the one on this is fine. So what I'm gonna do is, do the same to this. I'm going to pull the wire through it. Of the way. Excellent. Now I'm going to try and push. Oh, this one's half snapped off as well. Back up. But it's in better condition than the one that's in there. Let me put this back on. Okay, now I'm going to take off the clip holding the wire on. Oops. Hang on. 
It slipped down the bank underneath. Let me get my tweezers. Why is it when you want something you can never find it? It's all there. Maybe. Okay, and this is the temporary Kirby cable that I put on it. So the blue one goes closest to me, and the brown one's at the back. Oops. Get rid of that. Don't need that. So this is going to come through here. It's going to come through here. And it's going to get connected on there. Now, this cable is covered in like uh, it's the old-fashioned the cloth covered or cardboard or something I don't know it's like material covered ah it's black and red I remember somebody talking about this meaning that they kept it the same color it's threaded there we go with insulation off okay Red goes there. I think I'm going to have to put those little things on it again. Where did I put my set? There we go. I think I'm going to have to put these on. Let's check the screw. Yes. I love these. These are brilliant, these are. I 
think I'm going to have to get myself a little solder insert. <laughs> Something else dangerous to use on the channel to probably end up burning myself, but I think it would help if I knew how to solder. And a lot of it is practice. I used to do soldering when I was in school. I loved um, when we used to do... Um, it was part of um, CDT that we studied in school, craft design and technology. And uh, I enjoyed it. I love the smell of the... Uh, I love the smell of the solder. Probably good back then it was lead based, but never mind. Who real who knew back then? Breathing in poisonous lead fumes at school. I'm still alive. Right. So, the black one's going to go there, and the red one's going to go there. I haven't left enough room. Shit. I've done this before. Did the same thing before. Oh, no, it's okay. It'll fit in. Okay, let's put the black one on. go one two Excellent. <coughs> now I need to attach the clamp. clamp. Now the one thing I have noticed with this electric screwdriver is that there's no controllable speed on it. So as soon as you start it up it goes on full which is quite good for some things but then a bit of a pain in the bottom then for others. For example like when um, Steve was stripping down his, va his washing machine on Mad About Hoovers. Um, It was very good for the big bolts, but for the more difficult little fiddly bolts, oh, shoot. it was a right pain in the bottom for them. And I have the same issue as well. And that is even using the um, torque thing on it as well can be a bit of a pain. I'll just pick up this, it's dropped down inside. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm going to finish this off by hand. Excellent, so that is now insecure. I'm going to pop this back in, which is going to be easier said than done because it is so bloody old and half broken. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. It's getting there slowly. I'm going to have to push it in slowly without breaking any more of the rubber. That's it. Get in. Or without damaging any of the bloody paint. Get in, you bugger. I'm going to try and twist. 
twist it around into place. No, it's not going to work properly. Typical. It's half through. I can see it. There we go. Excellent. In place. So I'm going to put the cover back on this, close this up. That's all fine, that's all connected, yes. Now I can close this back up. Screw this back on. Oops. On. I need to put this clip on. Which will be in here. I don't know how well this is going to be staying on. Anyway, I will uh, tighten this up again. Should hold it into place. Okay, we're almost done. Let me just push this wire up a bit and wind it on. Wow, it looks really good. So it's gonna be, it's a really short blooming cable now with a pink one. But anyway, it's the original, so it looks good. Because it's got the original cable on it. So that looks really good. And the pink bumper, so I like that. These parts are knackered, although I'll keep that one. On my shelf. And that one. And that one. Now, I need to sort out this plug. This is a Electra plug. Which is fine, but these wires are just so bloody long on this, ridiculous. This isn't even tightened up properly. I don't know who the heck would have wired this. I don't know if it would have come loose over the years. I doubt it, but uh, it was wired by a blind cobbler. Right, let me trim off this excess fuzz. Let me trim off these cables. I just don't need to be that long. Now I can trim them. <gasps> Do you know what I didn't pay attention to? <laughs> it's which is which. <gasps> right, okay, I'm gonna have to go back. Hang on, I have to stop you, go back, because they're black and red. And I'm not good at remembering that. I'm gonna have to go back and have a look and see which one they were, which way they were put in. I didn't pay attention. Dun. Hang on a sec. Okay. Un petit Christ is over. Red goes to the fuse. And black goes on the other side. Let's just take this thing off, though. 
take it off though, it would be just a lot easier. Okay, take the entire thing off. Let me go out. Then I can get these in better. So red to the fuse. I bet Sam Watson is watching this and going, you really don't know the colour between the red and the black and what they call whether it's live or neutral. Well, no. I can't play the piano, but I know if someone's playing badly. The world is a critic. Right, black into there. Let me just do it up. Cut this stray bit of string off. Excellent. Right, now I can put this clamp back on and tighten it up, for which it desperately needed. I was talking to somebody the other day about a time, this is really with a time machine. I'd like to go back in a time machine for three times in three different periods the 50s the 60s and the 70s and in the 50s i would like to spend one hour outside the electricity showroom <laughs> and buy all the vacs and the washing machines i could possibly get my fingers on and then bring them back to the future <laughs> then i'd like to go to the 70s and do the same but in argos um, and then in the 80s I would like to do the same as well be transported outside Argos and go in and buy all the vacs I can possibly get like 1985 possibly in Argos I'd have to find out which was a vintage year for vacuum cleaners in 80s and um, go and see my grandparents that's what I would do in the 80s one anyway Go and spend one last afternoon with my grandparents. Oh, my grandmother's toast. Oh my God, she used to make just, it was just uh, sort of like um, a tin loaf. But I don't know, that's all she did was toast. It was only toast, toast and salty butter. But it's just, oh, just the thought of it is fantastic. Right, anyway, nostalgia. Let's plug it in. Okay. Let's try it. Yep, excellent. <laughs> it works. Excellent. Love it. Looking very good with its pink coat. To be honest, the bag isn't that bad. I mean, it's not the original bag with Hoover, but it's all pink and it looks pretty good, to be honest. So what we're going to do is take this pink lady. Oh, that doesn't fit now. Sugar cubes. Hang on. Let's see if I can just do it a bit tighter. Not too tight. Just to see if I can get this. Yes, over there. Excellent. A little bit of work. There we go, that is now done. The last thing I need at some point, and possibly in the future, is to get a um, original pink bag for it. How hard that would be, I don't know. But having the pink bumper on it, the replacement foot pedal, and the pink cord definitely takes it a couple of steps closer to looking you know, pretty good, looking pretty original with the pink on it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is get it on the floor. Oh, and I've also got to fit this as well. This came today for a Dyson 
So I need to fit that filter to it. And I think we'll do a little impromptu Dyson versus Hoover Jr. Um, <laughs> just for fun. Just for fun as it's going to be my last video before I go away. And uh, it'll be fun to do. So I'm going to put this back onto here. I need to get some proper cupboards so I can store all these bits away. And then have them somewhere safe. Another pack of original bags. I think I've got stacks of these original bags. I think I'm gonna put them on eBay and sell them cheap. Right. And this is the thing for it. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is, like this, with these parts. And I will put them away tomorrow. Because there's not gonna be any more back videos now until December my little twiglets December is when I'll be back to do more videos here I will be doing some in America of course right okay let's go and do this I'm gonna put the filter on the Dyson chuck down some muck and then we'll have a go So I'm in front of my Dyson DC04 which if I remember yes uh, I think that was pretty knackered compared to a new one if I hold both of them up, this one has been washed a buggery and is just completely full of carbon dust and this one is new. So I'll pop that in its place. This is the one with the nightmare form seal. It doesn't stay in bloody place when you try and shut it. Right, okay. Pop that on the groove. What well, you got to prove? Your love to me. Okay, there we go. That should help that a lot. I know, look. I got the tools, baby. Mm, looking good with the tools. They don't fit in it amazingly, but they do fit in there. Uh, this. I noticed Steve put it in that way. But I can't get it past this. Because there's, there's a groove in there. You're supposed to snap it in. Oh, yeah, snap it in. There we go. So that's in the right way now. We've got some tools for it. This one is complete. The only thing I do need to, to get for it is a new... Uh, this filter. Because... There we go. It's clean, but I'd like to get a new filter for it. So, see, just get a new one. All right, pop that down. Gilligan, will you stop slavering? Oh, she's slavering dogs. Pop that on. Okay, and we're going to get some muck on the floor. I'm going to chuck this away because it's not worth anything. But I'll tell you what I might... No, do you know what? I'm not going to chuck it away. I'm going to cut all of this out because this plastic is still fine I think and I could use it as a spare and then put like a sponge one in it possibly if I ever need to change it again I don't know I won't chuck it I'll just um yeah pop it in a bag and I'll sort it out in December right so let me get some muck down and uh, we will do Dyson versus Junior the 60s versus the 90s let's have the show so we have got them here we have got in the pink corner with 250 watts the 1960s hoover junior 1334 in a new pet fetching pink bumper and pink cord Versus the 1,250 watt Dyson DC04 with all that power of a bagless. So, first of all, let's have a listen to how they sound. And we'll see the difference. Okay, I'm going to switch on the Junior. Mm -hmm. 
and now the Dyson. Junior. Dyson. Well, the Junior has more of a growl. The Dyson has more of a high-pitched whine. But I have to say... There's not really not much difference in sound with them. So, next is pickup performance. Let me just get some muck on the floor and we'll see how they pick up. One pass back, sorry, one pass forward and one pass back and let's see the results. Okay, I've just put down my normal muck on the floor of uh, sawdust and bits and rice and it's going to be David versus Goliath. I think we will have David first as the pink corner and see how he does. And then I'm going to do Goliath and move him back and forth. Okay, well, it's not a real contest to be honest, is there? To be, honest. I mean, I would say, first off, in carpet grooming, the junior definitely wins because of its beating action. You can see that it is definitely brought up the pile more than the Dyson has because the junior obviously has the better brush roll, and there's no contest with that because of the beating as a sweeping as it's cleaning. It does, it has left a snail trail of dirt directly in the centre, which is where the, br the um, belt guard is. So obviously it's quite inevitable, again, that you're going to have a, line, a snail trail of dirt. The Dyson, on the other hand, hasn't left any, well, it's left, it's left a little bit there, which I think it snow ploughed a tiny bit, and then a couple of little pieces there but nothing else had picked up everything else in its path, so it did really well. So they both did well in different ways, but it just goes to show that that junior, which is sort of like, you know, got such little power compared to that Dyson, with all that suction and razzmatazz and wajuda, and the results show that they both did really, really well. But the junior definitely did bring up the pile of the carpet better on this particular case, on this particular carpet with this particular dirt. So, again, it's absolutely not scientific whatsoever. It's just a bit of fun. But I definitely see the pile being brought up by the junior for the beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. Isn't that correct, Roger? Definitely. It beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. Right, OK, let's just have a bit of fun. And I'm going to finish off vacuuming the rest of this side with the Junior. And then I'm going to finish doing this side and a bit more of the centre with the Dyson. <laughs>
So there we go, my friends. We have David versus Goliath off. Um, it was fun to use these actually together. I'm very glad to have the pink bumper back on this. This definitely needed a new um, post motor filter on it. So that will work a bit better now with that uh, new filter on there. And this looks a lot better now with the new cable bumper and the other bits. So this is it now until December, my little friends. We will have another video next week, a video or two, which I'm very excited about. But uh, you will see that when I upload them, when I'm, when I'm away. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. Press that bell notification and then you will get informed of when I've put a new video on. And um, I will see you all very soon in another country. Bye for now.